All right, y'all, we've got our almond bark in chocolate and vanilla, our chocolate, our caramel chips, and our peanuts on the grill. And now we're just gonna let this get going. All right, y'all, we've had our chocolate cooking for 20 minutes here. And we're gonna start mixing this up because we don't want it to get burnt or anything. And our peanuts are down in there. Look how beautiful this is just melting. This one underneath the second brick here, it's not quite as melted. So it's gonna need a little bit more time, but I'm gonna move this around. I'm gonna start getting our chocolate that is melted all on our peanuts. And I, uh, these were lightly salted, but you could choose to do unsalted if you like, or you know, if you wanted to do like those honey kind of peanuts, that could be really good too. There's endless combinations that you could do with this. And this is just the easiest, yummiest summertime treat. And I think y'all are gonna really, really love it. All right, y'all, it was just about five more minutes. I did stay here and stir it just to get everything mixed in, but we are ready for our next step. Whoop, I'm gonna try and support this part way from the bottom. Okay, follow me. All right, y'all, I'm just spreading this out onto my aluminum foil, covered my counter. All righty, y'all, I got some Rolos here. They are unwrapped. I'm gonna start by coming in and just dropping these Rolos in here. All right, I've got some Keith English coffee bits. This is gonna be so good with the peanuts, the caramel of the Rolos, and then the chocolate, of course. All right, now I've got my Jet Puff mini marshmallows. Marty doesn't like the mini marshmallows. No. He's not a marshmallow person, but all right, Marty, I'll leave you at a spot with not too many marshmallows. <laughs> doesn't have to be a big spot. All right. Marty doesn't know what's good. And now I got my honey made graham crackers. And I did just put these in a bag and uh, pound them up here to make them into little crumbs. And now I'm just doing some graham cracker crumbs right on top here. We're just gonna let this harden and we'll see you real soon. Alrighty y'all, we ended up letting this sit overnight just cause we wanted to go to bed last night, but we are just about ready here. I'm gonna use my spatula and we're just gonna start getting underneath here. Ooh, look at that. And you know what? The best thing we're gonna do is just kinda come through and start breaking this up. And this is a fun thing. You can break this up into pieces. Then you can put this on a serving tray or you could put these into little individual bags to give to your neighbors. This could be a fun back to school thing for the teachers in your school. You know, it's something you could do with the kids. It's easy enough that they can participate. And like I said, you could take this from the big dish and do clusters you know, just dropping a small cluster with um, with a spoon or whatever to kind of distinguish the size you want. And that would be super easy, super perfect. All right, I'm gonna try this, y'all. Now, you may have realized we did graham cracker crust, we did the mini marshmallows, I put Rolos and the toffee in there because I wanted to really spice this up, but this is kind of like a little s'mores bite, if you will. Alrighty, I can't wait to try it. Mmm. 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 
so easy, so good. New way to do s'mores out on the grill. Save them, save them for days in the fridge. Share them with your neighbors. You gotta try it.